Okay, welcome back. So in the previous video, we ended up with this likelihood function. Okay, I just essentially introduced this likelihood function. And what is it? Well, before I go into the actual maths behind it and, and give you a very basic example to give you more intuition, I'm just going to we're just going to quickly talk about what is likelihood. Okay, I think we are used to maybe a probability, but um, let's see here. Likelihood is the likelihood of, say, seeing the parameters given a fixed data set. Okay, so what do we mean by this? So oftentimes, so now you've got some kind of Gaussian distribution. And remember, your Gaussian distribution, um, your probability distribution is given by some parameters. Um, let's and they are, say, a mu and a uh, variance or a standard deviation. These are your parameters. So say now your, your, uh, your mean, mu, is on zero, and say your standard deviation has a certain value of a standard deviation. Okay, it doesn't matter what it is. But probability is to measure the probability of some event inside this distribution given the fact that you know what the distrib what these parameters are okay you know the parameters and now you're trying to sample within that parameter distribution or that distribution um, described by those parameters that is what probability is likelihood is the reverse say now you have a fixed data set that you've you've actually measured a fixed data set what we're trying to do now is find the parameters that best describe that data set so um, remember when we had linear regression x and y so now you had some data set right these points that you've got are actual points that you've measured in real life and what, what are we trying to do? We're trying to find a line. That line is governed by, by parameters. Y, beta 0 plus beta 1 x. So we're trying to find, um, we have the actual data set, and we're trying to find the parameters that best describe that data set, or that we can say the data set comes out of a model with those parameters. So this is essentially what maximum likelihood is, uh, although it's dealing with probabilities. So maximum uh, likelihood and maximum likelihood is we have data, now we're trying to find the parameters that best describe that data or govern that data. I think that's perhaps hopefully an intuitive way of understanding that. So let's, there's some um, some of these quotes from from these two textbooks elements of statistical learning and introduction to to statistical learning so uh, we spoke about what likelihood is but we want to find the maximum likelihood so the principle of maximum likelihood assumes that the most reasonable values for theta are those for which the probability of the observed sample is the largest okay so um, I'll get into this again in a minute but this equation here this function all it all this is saying is for a given beta uh, set of betas a set of parameters what is the likelihood uh, that we will get this data set okay but as you can see, as you vary, as you vary your beta parameters, the likelihood is going to vary. Does that make sense? Okay, let's quickly write this out because we're going to use it again. So the likelihood, right, of your beta parameters, the likelihood of your beta parameters being the real beta parameters is equal to pi, by the way, pi, is means product so i equals 1 to n and let's put in that probability is 1 over 1 plus e to the minus beta 
transpose x and I'm just going to put the this here the beta transpose x okay um, to the y i and 1 minus 1 over 1 plus e to the minus beta transpose x to the power of 1 minus y i so the point that I'm trying to make is that you can vary your beta parameters in this equation and every time you calculate a new uh, likelihood that, that th those beta parameters are the true parameters governing that data set. So you keep varying your beta parameters and as you're varying them your likelihood is changing. And this is the idea behind maximum likelihood is you keep varying those beta parameters that are hidden inside these probabilities okay keep varying them and you you calculate your likelihood and you vary it you calculate the likelihood and you vary it and you keep varying your beta parameters and then you are the aim is to find the maximum likelihood okay so here from introduction to statistical learning page 133 the basic intuition behind using maximum likelihood to fit a logistic regression model is as follows we seek estimates for beta 0 and beta 1 such that the predicted probability of default and what they're really saying is uh, of the probability uh, of your thing whatever the thing you're, you're trying to do is equal to 1 okay this is a specific example so, so just ignore that the probability the probability of it being one because remember when we're talking about probability here it is the probability of your prediction being one okay okay so we seek beta zero and beta one such that the predicted probability of being one for each individual corresponds as closely as possible to the actual observed default status which is exactly what i've been saying Okay, so if you're zero here, or if you're one here, we're trying to find beta zero and beta one so that this curve matches the predictions, mac so that the predictions using the curve matches the actual values. In other words, we try to find beta zero and beta one hat such that plugging these estimates into the model for probability of x, our sigmoid, yields a number close to one for all individuals who are one and a number close to zero for all individuals who are zero according to your definition okay so i think that's again that's good enough for this one in the next one i'm going to go through a simple example showing you how this works